Hello and welcome to our NCFE Provider Development Week. In this session, we're going to explore empowering educators, problem-based learning for personal and professional growth. Today, we embark on a journey into the dynamic world of problem-based learning, or PBL, a methodology that not only empowers our students, but also serves as a catalyst for our own professional growth. Join us as we uncover the core principles, benefits, and practical strategies for implementing PBL in your classrooms. Our objective is to understand the transformative power of PBL, explore its impact on both educators and students, and equip ourselves with practical insights for effective implementation. Let's unlock the, the potential of problem-based learning together. Pause here for a few minutes and reflect on your understanding of PBL. So what is PBL? PBL is an instructional approach that centers around solving real world problems. It shifts the traditional classroom dynamic, placing students in the role of active problem solvers. In PBL, students explore authentic, open-ended problems that lack a clear solution. These problems often mimic the complexities of the real world, encouraging critical thinking and collaboration. PBL involves students in a dynamic process of inquiry, investigation and problem solving, fostering a deep understanding of the subject matter. Let's not just talk about PBL, let's visualise it. Ima imagine a dynamic process where students are not just recipients of information, but active participants in their learning journey. Let's view the key steps of problem-based learning. So first you have identify the problem. Students encounter a real world problem or scenario that piques their curiosity. Next, students work to define the problem, breaking it down and understanding its components. Students conduct research, gathering information to develop a plan for solving the problem. Groups implement their solutions, applying their knowledge and skills to address the problem. After implementation, students reflect on the process and evaluate the effectiveness of their solutions. And students present their findings and solutions to the class, fostering communication and peer, listen, peer learning. This dynamic process not only engages students, but equips them with valuable skills for the real world. Problem-based learning offers a multitude of benefits for both educators and students. So again, just pause the video here and reflect on what you think the benefits of PBL are. Let's unpack the benefits it brings to both educators and students. Picture a holistic set of advantages that form the very foundation of problem-based learning. PBL captures students' interest by presenting real-world problems, making learning more mean meaningful and engaging. Students develop critical thinking skills as they analyse, synthesise information and solve complex problems. Collaboration and communication. PBL fosters teamwork and communication as students work together to address challenges. Students see the direct relevance of their learning, applying knowledge to real world scenarios. And PBL taps into students' intrinsic motivation as they take ownership of their learning journey. This interconnected web of benefits not only enriches the learning experience, but also equips the students with skills crucial for their academic and professional journeys. So again, let's pause here for a few minutes and reflect on how you could implement PBL in the classroom. So now that we've recognised the power of PBL, let's explore how we can seamlessly integrate it into our classrooms. Implementing problem-based learning involves a thoughtful approach that caters to the unique dynamic of your classroom. Selecting, appro selecting appropriate problems, begin, begin by choosing problems that resonate with your students and align with your curriculum objectives. This ensures the relevance and impact of the PBL experience. 
As educators, your role is crucial in guiding students through PBL process, balancing structure and autonomy. You provide the support and direction needed for a successful learning journey. Next, develop assessments that go beyond measuring content knowledge. Assess the development of problem solving skills and the application of knowledge in real world scenarios. This strategic approach not only ensures the effective implementation of PBL, but also maximizes its impact on student learning. As we embark on the journey of implementing base, uh, implementing problem based learning, it's crucial to acknowledge and navigate the challenges that may arise. Let's explore these challenges together. Understand that some students may initially resist a shift to a more independent and inquiry based learning approach. Addressing this resistance requires effective communication and a gradual introduction of the PBL process. PBL can be time consuming, requiring careful planning and allocation of time, class time. Finding the right balance between PBL and other curriculum requirements is essential. Designing assessments that capture both content knowledge and problem solving skills can be challenging. However, it's crucial to ensure that assessments align with the goals of PBL and provide a comprehensive view of student learning. And educators may need training to effectively facilitate PBL and guide students through the process. Professional development opportunities can equip teachers with the skills needed for successful PBL implementation. By addressing these challenges head on, we can create a supportive environment for both educators and students to thrive in the world of PBL. Again, I would like you to pause and reflect, and I would like you to consider the potential challenges in, in implementing PBL and develop strategies to overcome them. Then we will explore that in a bit detail. So while challenges may arise in the implementation of problem based learning, there are proven strategies to navigate and overcome them. Let's explore these strategies together. So in addressing student resistance, foster a positive classroom culture that encourages curiosity and independent learning. Gradually introduce PBL, highlighting its benefits for self-directed learning and showcasing success stories. In regards to the effective time management cha challenge, prioritise learning objectives to align with curriculum goals and create a well structured PBL framework, ensuring it seamlessly integrates with existing curricular requirements. In regards to managing assessment complexity, develop a clear and comprehensive rubric that outlines expectations for both content knowledge and problem solving skills, align assessments with the specific objectives of the PBL experience, and teacher training and support. Explore ongoing professional development opportunities. This includes mentoring, workshops, and access to resources that empower teachers with effective PBL facilitation skills. By employing these strategies, we can transform challenges into opportunities for growth and create a rich, supportive environment for the successful implementation of PBL in our classroom. As we explore the impact of PBL, it's essential to recognise the profound influence it can have on your personal and professional growth as educators. Let's delve into how PBL contributes to this growth. PBL challenges educators to adopt innovative teaching methods, fostering adaptability and creativity. It's a journey that not only benefits students, but enhances your skills as an educator. Facilitating PBL projects deepens your own understanding of subjects. As you guide students through real world problem solving, you too embark on a journey of continuous learning. Successful implementation of PBL often results in heightened student engagement. The sense of accomplishment and fulfillment derived from this engagement contributes significantly to your professional satisfaction. Engaging in BPL opens avenues for collab collaborative professional development. It creates a platform for educators to share experiences, insights and best practices, fostering a community of continuous improvement. Through problem based learning, the growth isn't limited to your students. It's transformative experience that extends to your own personal and professional journey. So we're now going to apply a PBL um, problem. Um, 
reminder first of the PBL process. So the scenario we have is it is a developmental day for teachers and teaching learning team have identified a key problem. And this is the problem here on the right. The teaching learning and assessment team divide teachers into small groups to present the scenario of increased bullying incidents and ask participants to consider how they can address the problem using a PBL approach. In their groups, teachers identify the problem Increase in bullying and harassment, impacting a diverse population. They then define the problem in more detail. So examples here are British values are not respected and followed, lack of awareness or empathy, and even defining what British values means. Next is the research and plan stage. Teachers brainstorm ideas for a PBL project that addresses bullying while incorporating British values. This include, include creating anti-bullying campaigns, workshops or educational resources. Each group develops a detailed plan specifying how democracy, the rule of law, individual liberty, tolerance and mutual respect will be woven into their anti-bullying project and how the solution will be implemented. Here are some example possible solutions to implement. So curriculum integration, this would ensure that British values are explicitly embedded in the school curriculum across subjects and year levels, encourage teachers to find opportunities to connect British values to various subjects, making them relevant and contextual. Through educational resources, develop and provide educational resources that explicitly address British values, including lesson plans, activities and materials, include diverse perspectives and examples to illustrate the application of British values in different contexts. And another example that we'll look at in a little bit more detail is classroom practices. This could be facilitate interactive discussions in the classroom that explore and promote British values using teachers' methods that actively engage students in understanding and applying British values in their daily life. Um, student participation through student councils or even encourage students to lead initiatives related to promoting mutual respect and tolerance within the school, communicate, school community. Um, another example around anti-bullying initiatives, develop and enforce anti-bullying policies that align with the principles of rule of law and individual liberty, and even launch an educational campaign to raise awareness about bullying and promote a culture of respect and kindness. In regards to assessment and feedback, feedback develop assessment criteria that includes the evaluations of students' understanding and application of British values, providing constructive feedback to students on how their behaviours align with the British values, reinforcing positive attitudes and actions. So these are just some of the examples of um, solutions that could be implemented. So next, teachers have a reflective discussion on how the incorporation of British values enriches the anti-bullying initiatives. So this is the reflect and evaluate stage. They discuss, discuss challenges, potential outcomes and ways to measure success. So some of the questions that they sort of explore would, would be how have British values enriched our approach to anti-bullying initiatives? What challenges did we face in incorporating British values? What positive outcomes can we anticipate from our efforts? What criteria can we use to measure the success of our initiative? Groups then present their PBL plans explaining how each British value is incorporated to create a comprehensive approach to tackling bullying. Each group will share their PBL plans for tackling bullying, highlight how democracy, the rule of law, individual liberty and mutual respect are integrated, emphasise the specific British values addressed in each plan, what and how solutions are being implemented and taking into account reflections. And then they would invite questions and discussions from the audience. So by addressing bullying through a PBL approach while keeping British values at the forefront, we not only contribute to a safer school environment, but also instill in our students the principles that define our society. So this scenario based activity not only emphasises the importance of British values and gives you that practical insight and how educators can integrate them into real world issues such as bullying through PBL approach. 
So our key takeaways from today's session. Problem-based learning empowers students to become active problem solvers, fostering a deep and meaningful understanding of the subject matter. PBL encourages the application of knowledge to authentic real-world scenarios, preparing students for the challenges beyond the classroom. For educators, PBL serves as a catalyst for enhancing teaching skills, fostering adaptability and creativity in instructional approaches. And collaboration and critical thinking are central to PBL, providing students with essential skills for the complexities of the modern world. So action points, what is next? Continue to integrate PBL methodologies into your teaching practices. Encourage a culture of collaboration and critical thinking in the classroom. Explore a diverse and real world applications to enrich the learning experience. As we move forward, let's carry these key takeaways with us, integrating PBL methodologies into our teaching practices, fostering a culture of collaboration, critical thinking, and exploring diverse and real world applications to enrich the learning experience for our students. Thank you for watching.